Welcome to St. Vincent College's 175th spring commencement. We extend a very special welcome to the graduates and the loved ones who have come to celebrate their achievement. On the platform today to celebrate this joyous occasion are the Right Reverend Martin de Portes Bartel of the Order of St. Benedict, Archabbot and Chancellor of St. Vincent. Mr. J. Christopher Donahue, Chairperson of the St. Vincent College Board of Directors. Ms. Cindy Citrone, today's honorary degree recipient and commencement speaker. Father Paul Taylor of the Order of St. Benedict, President of St. Vincent College, and Dr. Jim Kellum, Associate Professor of Biology and President of Faculty Council, who represents the college's faculty on the platform today. Please remain standing, and gentlemen, remove your caps. Our flag is on the baseball side, or the softball side of the field, and our national anthem will be led by Nicholas T. Pietrzynski, class of 2021, engineering and music graduate. Following the national anthem, please remain standing for the invocation by Archabbot and Chancellor Martin. Following the invocation, Father Paul Taylor will give his welcoming remarks. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of Let us unite our hearts in prayer and entrust to the hands of God those who graduate today as we call upon the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God who began this good work in you carry it through to completion, enabling you to use your education and your talents to the fullest. May God give you the grace to make wise choices and be faithful to your commitments, always confident in the support of those who love you. May God bless you with unease at simple answers and half-truths so that you will live deep within your hearts. May God bless you with anger at all that is not worthy of God's plan for us, so that you will work for justice, equality, and peace. May God bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer, so that you will reach out your hand to comfort them and change their pain into joy. May God bless you with the wisdom to know that you can make a difference in the world 
so that you will do the things which others tell you cannot be done. May your integrity be a gift to the world, and may the Spirit of God be always with you. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you, Archabbot Martin. Welcome, Mr. Dunahoo. Thank you for your presence, Dr. Smetanka and Dr. Kellum, in representing our faculty and all who serve our students. Good afternoon and welcome all. Whether you are at Chuck Knoll Field today, or joining us virtually, it is, a wonderf it is wonderful to be together again, and indeed, it is a beautiful day in our neighborhood. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who made this first outdoor commencement possible. Thank you to family, friends, and loved ones who have come to our campus to join in this celebration and for the ways in which your prayers and support have sustained us this year, but also for the ways in which you have instilled a passion for learning in these graduates. Thank you to the faculty who adapted in so many ways during this past year to still deliver the educational experience we expect at St. Vincent and ensure that our students' pathways to success remain as clear as possible. Your guidance, wisdom, and inspiration for our students is demonstrated in this crowd that is before us today. Thank you to the staff and administration for the ways in which you took on new, expanded, or unexpected roles to ensure the health and safety of everyone at St. Vincent and that our campus could continue to operate in these adverse times. And to you, our students, a big, big thank you and congratulations. Your commitment to one another and to this entire community is what made reaching this point today possible. The journey was not always easy or smooth. And we know that there were certainly some obstacles along the way. In fact, you were asked to climb a steeper hill this year than you had expected. However, sitting here today in the largest single gathering on our campus for more than a year is a sign of hope and optimism as you prepare to enter this next exciting chapter of your lives. Be assured that St. Vincent is always here for you in each stage of your life, the good times and the not so good times. Remember, once a bear cat, <laughs> on behalf of the academic and monastic communities of St. Vincent. It is my privilege to welcome Cindy Citrone to receive our honorary degree and to deliver today's commencement address. Cindy. Cindy, as a leader, in public, private, nonprofit, and faith organizations, your life's work addresses society's most vexing problems.
especially those facing young people, to advance the common good. So, for your innovative approaches to bring people together to address difficult problems in our society, and for your focus to use data-driven measures to identify effective practices in transforming organizations to be more effective for those whom they serve. For your work on behalf of young people with attention to those with mental health issues, especially those in crisis. For your advocacy for the best science and research for organ transplantation, spinal cord repair, and breast cancer research. For your inspiration for colleges and universities in our region to partner with you and with each other on these issues. For your dedication and dedicated efforts for the most vulnerable during this pandemic. For your work in your home parish to spread the faith and to your commitment to the work of your beloved late pastor, Father John, for your enthusiasm to bring all your work to bear with laughter, engagement, and fun for those who need it most, and for your enduring commitment and wisdom that you offer to advance us and me and all of us here for the mission of St. Vincent. Today, we recognize these outstanding professional accomplishments along with those more personal ones of being a parent of four adult children with your husband and a role model as a devoted Catholic. St. Vincent College is proud to confer upon you Cynthia L. Citrone, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa, this 22nd day of May, 2021. And so, Dr. Citrone, if you could please address our graduates. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Not via Zoom, okay. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in the neighborhood of Pittsburgh, a welcoming village of kind, strong people, a kingdom where champions are crowned every year. She fell in love with a handsome prince. She had four caring children, a dream job helping others, and even a spare castle in Walt Disney World. She was that girl, you know that girl in the song? The girl who had everything. Well, maybe everything, except for a good therapist. Good afternoon, class of 2021. Congratulations and welcome to your happily ever after. I'd like to thank Arch Abbott Martin, Father Paul, Chairman of the Board Chris Donahue, faculty, administrators, family, friends, and graduates for allowing me to be a part of your celebration and to be in the presence of your resilient energy that is so palpable here today. My husband Rob was baptized right behind us in the Basilica. His father Bob is a distinguished Bearcat alumnus as well as his uncles. And Rob's youngest brother Eric is buried in St. Vince's Cemetery. We were grateful to visit his grave last night on the 40th anniversary of his death and ask for his blessing today. Our family is eternally grateful to this institution for the values in education they have received from this very special place. Class of 2021, you arrived today despite the biggest challenges ever 
in the history of academia. Never did any of us ever dream that a chemistry lab would be completed via Zoom. That in the shadows of Fred Rogers Center, your neighborhood would dictate who you could and could not interact with. That the basilica doors would be closed and you'd be unable to receive Holy Communion. Things were unimaginable. You did not have traditional experiences and that is what makes you unique. Class of 2021, you have learned over the past 16 months that fairy tale endings and happily ever afters do not come without battling dragons. All of you now are beginning to build your life story. It's an exciting moment that is not to be taken for granted, not to be squandered and not to be limiting. Your journey begins with your faith in God, in yourself, and in your personal and professional relationships. Now back to my fairy tale. You're smart graduates, so I'm sure you already figured out that that princess in the opening story was me. So allow me to share my short story. How did I get from Pittsburgh girl, to Steeler owner, to Disney World resident, to mental health advocate, to standing on this stage, am I living happily ever after? Let me tell you. After I graduated from college, I met my husband Rob in a bar in Richmond, Virginia on a Sunday night. He had just come from a Pittsburgh Steeler game. And after we exchanged here we go Steeler chants and chatted about our favorite players, he asked me out. Now I had moved to Richmond to meet a Southern guy, but Rob, he was convincing. He said if we went out, someday we could own a boat. Not much of a draw there. He also promised that he would speak to me in French. I don't speak French, so that doesn't help. Then he paused and said confidently, Cindy, stick with me, and together, you and I will one day own a share of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now he had my attention. It was crazy. Everyone knows that the Roonies own the Steelers. He might as well have said that we would be Kennedys. But there was something, something in his eye, something that in his promise, I knew it would happen for us. And today, together as a team, we are partners as one of the largest minority owners. I should tell you that we don't own a boat and we don't speak French in our home. Over the years, Rob and I have dreamt of our wildest dreams and have achieved many that I'm not even thought we thought were possible. Yes, we're a proud part of the Pittsburgh Steelers ownership group. We're also proud of our family's collective, Citrone 33, a private family foundation that is making in the difference in the world. We're developing a mental wellness initiative designed specifically to help young college adults. We have a seat at the table in the fight against breast cancer and in the importance of organ donation. Our family is on the ground in developing countries advocating for women's health care. Giving back is a passion for us. Rob set fire to what was within me and I'm here to set fire what is what within you. And I believe that we are living happily ever after. The, well, maybe not so fast. That's only half the story. Here's the story that doesn't often make the edit. Back to that princess, she needed to ask for help so that she could be happier. My journey and success came with a fair share of challenges. I lost my parents at a young age, and with losing that unconditional love a parent gives you, I was often scared and insecure. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I remember when the surgeon gave me the diagnosis, he said, this will be one horrible year, but you will survive. I'm happy to report that I'm cancer free, but there's always that nagging anxiety, it may return. I have always believed that I should live by example. And I'm here to tell you that cancer wasn't the hardest thing that I went through. The hardest thing for me was the fear of being a good mother, of doing the best job possible, and equipping my children to be happy. 
I wanted to live and set that example. I wanted to get help to manage my own anxiety and emotions. I wanted to set that precedent. My job as a parent wasn't done until I was able to first equip myself and then my children with skills and tools to address their mental wellness. As we're reminded on a plane, first put on your oxygen mask and then your children's. The decision to seek help was transformative. It changed the course of my life and part of the reason I'm standing with you here today. I learned to face my challenges and view them as growth opportunities. For you, this past year might very well have been one of the most difficult of your life. It will be certainly one that you will discuss for the rest of your life. But while I was well into adulthood before I learned these coping skills, you've amassed several just over the past 16 months. While navigating a pandemic was lonely, Bearcats, you never walked alone. Your professors, your fellow students, and the Spirit of God surrounded you and will continue to walk alongside you. During this unprecedented time together, you, feel, you learned what it feels like to be isolated and struggled to find new ways to connect, but you did it. Kindness, acceptance, gratitude, resilience, faith, these are the valuable skills that you learned being part of St. Vincent and Pittsburgh communities. You'll carry these with you. You will lean on these strengths during challenging times. Remember, God gives us growth opportunities under the cloak of these challenges, the chance to grow closer to him and to each other. Our Father, who art in heaven, in his divinity, shared his son with us to lead by example and to witness firsthand that even the Son of God faced trials and tribulations in his humanity. These challenges, these growth opportunities, they're part of your happily ever after plan, which will be different for each one of you. Tonight, before you sleep and hopefully dream, take a moment to think about your happily ever after scenario. And don't forget that Jesus is your number one verified influencer with over two billion followers in the world. Fittingly enough, you are the first class to graduate here on Chuck Knoll Field. When you leave this stage and start your, as Coach Knoll would say, life work, your St. Vincent education has prepared you for success. When you think about it, much of what's been accomplished here on the soil of St. Vincent has been because of commitment, grit, resilience. Her Boyer, Fred Rogers, Dan Rooney, the Pittsburgh Steelers, their accomplishments didn't always come easy, but they trained hard here. They built a strong cultural foundation here. They cultivated a community to support them. You too are now part of that legacy. Like those before you, you will leave here with more than a diploma and a degree. You are leaving here with power. You each have your ties, your talents, your treasures, and your trust to lean in and to improve the world around you. It's about creating shared experiences, experimenting and innovating, achieving and making a difference every day. That's what creates exponential good, regardless of where you go and what your life work is. More than that, while you've spent the past several years unpacking who you are, you've simultaneously been packing for the loader, longer road ahead. Your story is ready to start a new chapter. Reverend Fred Rogers said, all of us at some time or other need help where whether we're giving or receiving help, each one of us has something valuable to bring to the world. That's the one of the things that connect us as neighbors. In our own way, each one of us is a giver 
and a receiver. When I think about my dream and what makes my life special, it's the ability to give back, to share resources, to have that feeling that I've helped someone today. This has been incredibly important to my family and we instilled these values in our children. It is the Pittsburgh way, it is the St. Vincent's way. Every one of you has something to give, and every one of you should be open to receive. We uncreated Unpack You as a university in 2020 to help students in developing and maintaining their mental wellness as they navigate the challenges of college life and beyond. I invite each and every one of you to join our mission. Today and these next couple of days may blur for you as you pack your bags, say goodbye to friends, and begin new adventure. But I'd like to leave you with a few final thoughts to hold on to. First, it's okay not to be okay. It's okay just to be okay. So be kind to yourself. The greatest love story, fairy tale, is about loving yourself. Second, Never be ashamed to ask for help. As a St. Vincent family, we should be a community that not only willingly seeks help, but gives help, even before someone asks for it. I still ask for help daily. Third, practice acceptance. Welcome life in all its good and bad moments instead of resisting them. Remember, there is no judgment in trying. You may have assumed that your assignments were done, but I leave you with two final assignments. You each have a copy of the little black and gold book of gratitude on your chair. It's a gratitude practice journal that was created with the Steelers in 33 of their greatest players and coaches that has graced the practice field that you sit on. Use it to practice gratitude. Finally, let's take a few seconds to be truly present. A bear cat break. Take this time to experience this great moment in your life. Look at your surroundings, smell the air, listen to the sounds, and most importantly, feel the love, the support, the pride of your family, your faculty, your friends, the Holy Spirit, and most of all, yourself. Class of 2021, it's your moment to start your once upon a time. God bless you. Thank you, Dr. Citrone. <laughs> Thank you for your great example, for your advocacy, your service, your leadership, and your inspiring remarks today. Before the conferral of degrees, we pause to remember those members of St. Vincent College community who passed away this academic year. We remember especially Emeritus Professor of English, Dr. Richard Wasolik and Emeritus Professor of Mathematics, Dr. Michael Botsko. Although we miss all of them dearly, we know their spirits, along with all of our dearly departed loved ones, are with us today, and their memory lives on in the lives they have touched. Now, we recognize the accomplishments of our graduates who are gathered here today. The conferral of degrees will be done by school, Traditionally, we clap for every graduate, but only until they reach this podium. So as they walk across the stage, please stop your applause at the podium, and then the name of the next degree recipient will be read. 
Dr. Gary Quinlevin, Dean of the Alex G. McKenna School of Business, Economics, and Government, will now preside over the conferral of degrees. Dr. Sarah Daly, Assistant Professor of Criminology, and Dr. Michael Yorick, Associate Professor of Business, will hood graduates receiving master's degrees. Criminology, Master of Science, Jessica Lynn Gibbs. <laughs> Rihanna Matlos. Mark Brian Zabracki. <laughs> Management Operational Excellence Master of Science, Christina Marie Davis. Thomas David Eshelman. <laughs> Zachary Robert Good. <laughs> Courtney Warner Patterson. <laughs> Andre Michael Pradia Jr. Rish Babu Aramasetti. <laughs> Accounting Bachelor of Science, Krista Michael Answine, summa cum laude. Taylor Marie Bertolino. <laughs> Ian Fleming, cum laude. <laughs> Rihan Dong, summa cum laude. John Paul Duffy, magna cum laude. Andrew Raymond Gamrat. Luke Jonathan Geiger. Elizabeth Ann Hall, magna cum laude. Chinaza Joy Madhu. Kaylee Marie Mizakar. Ryan Anthony Auri, magna cum laude. <laughs> Shay Susan Robson, summa cum laude. <laughs> St 
Stephen Andrew Selden. Timothy Patrick Sheehan, cum laude. Christina Ann Seibel, summa cum laude. William James Smartnick III, magna cum laude. James Edward Wheeler, <laughs> Business Economics, Bachelor of Science, Kevin Patrick Martin, magna cum laude. <laughs> Sagar Kalpesh Patel. Criminology Law and Society Bachelor of Arts, Ashley Renee Baker. Tanner LeDrew Brennanen. Jesco H. Camille. Lauren J. Dellinger. Derek Andrew Feather. Thomas Patrick Franny, summa cum laude. Jesse James, Gillespie. Mark Robert Locke, magna cum laude. Anthony James Manessis. Christopher David Miller. Cameron Skyler Norris, cum laude. Deborah Ann Petronico. Madeline Rose Schickel. Michael John Stasco, Jr., cum laude. Luke Isaac Thomas, cum laude. Olivia Page Williams. Jeremy Thomas Witterick. <laughs> Economics, Bachelor of Science, Nicholas Steven Cernka. <laughs> Economics and Mathematics, Bachelor of Science, Stephen Michael Patterson, summa cum laude. Finance, Bachelor of Science, Colin Michael Batanga, cum laude. Claire F. Crater.
Troy Jacob Daly. Alexander William Hall. John Darius Ludwig. Colin Michael Parks. Emily Suzanne Potts. John Edward Posnick III. Andrew Robert Ray. Candom, Candom, Daniel Sarver, cum laude. Frank Allen Singer, magna cum laude. Andrew Joseph Spiral. Nicholas Garrett Williams, magna cum laude. Alexis Rose Wilson. International Business Bachelor of Science, Deanna Nicole Brady. Alexandra Marie Gersall. <laughs> Management Bachelor of Science, Sarah Elizabeth Allison Trino. <laughs> Thomas John Bash. Joshua Robert Bauer. <laughs> Shamar S. Bennett, cum laude. <laughs> Walter Lee Bonds. Robert Allen, for bonus, Jr. <laughs> Timothy Lucas Chavez. <laughs> Joel Conserve, Jr. Ethan Paul Cox. <laughs> Justin Michael Densmore. <laughs> Alexander Dominic Ferrero. Nathan Goff, the fourth.
Dominic George Grumusa. <laughs> Rachel Marie Heater. Joshua Dylan Hen. Joseph Brian Jeffrey. Andrew Lee Johnson. Francis Stewart King. Yeah, Brandon Michael Labley. <laughs> Shelly Marie Older, summa cum laude. Andrew John Putignano, cum laude. Shannon Grace Rang. Tyler Andrew Robel. Alana K. Sleeth. Daniel Robert Stoner. Tanner Andrew Vanyo. Lucille Therese Volna, cum laude. <laughs> David John Yasher. <laughs> Allison Nicole Zorn. Marketing Bachelor of Science, Ashley Marie Alloy, cum laude. <laughs> David Richard Ammons, the third. Bradley Ethan Bear, magna cum laude. Sarah Marie Balavich. <laughs> Madeline Patrice Callahan. <laughs> Patrick Lew Lewis. Cunahan. <laughs> Paul Edmund Dick. <laughs> Brady Alexander DeRico. <laughs> Cody Thomas Evans. Abigail Diane Johnson. Yeah. 
Matthew Jeff Limbacher. <laughs> Alexander Emilio Navarro. <laughs> Madison Grace Reaping. Nathan Nicholas Solera. Sarah Ann Scalise. Ryan Daniel Shirley. Alexander G. Ulrey. Lauren Marie Zalek. Grant Franklin Zerby. Political Science Bachelor of Science, Joseph Frederick Schwab. Politics Bachelor of Arts, Shireen Maria Deeb. Emily Rose Deal. <laughs> Joseph Christopher Heldridge, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Maria Grace Carnivoli, Ho. Jonathan Gilbert Mylander, summa cum laude. Robert Nechai. Ann Darla Pamphill, cum laude. Madeline Marie Pollock. Trevor Paul Scruggs. <laughs> An Kai Tran, magna cum laude. <laughs> Caleb James Wilson, magna cum laude. And join me in congratulating McKenna School Class of 2021. Dr. Stephen M. Jodas, Dean of the Herbert W. Boyer School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Computing, will now preside over the conferral of degrees. Biochemistry, Bachelor of Science, Mary Rani Anand, summa cum laude. Danielle Lindsay Chorba, cum laude. Brandon David Lowe, cum laude. <laughs> Madeline Mary Mutinelli, magna cum laude.
Julia Kristen Planchen. Hannah Marie Schilp, summa cum laude. Brandon Philip Silvis, magna cum laude. Thomas Siphon, summa cum laude. The following student is receiving the Bachelor of Science degree in Bioinformatics, Kimberly Ann Horn. The following student is receiving the Bachelor of Science in Biology, Madeline Elizabeth Kornman, cum laude. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Biology. Jacob Davis DeShepper. Graham William Merlin. Gabriella Madalina Petruccelli, cum laude. Caitlin Christine Schiffer. <laughs> Hannah Elaine Severine. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Biology. Jared David Ackerman, magna cum laude. Alyssa Marie Baker, cum laude. Sydney Elizabeth Ball. Michael Jeffrey Sella, summa cum laude. Nicolay Alexis Lynn Crawford. <laughs> Lauren Esther Diamond, cum laude. Savannah Jean Gersnecker. Taylor Levon Hatchet. <laughs> Margaret Grace Hines, summa cum laude. Michael Charles Cardis, summa cum laude. Rachel Ann Keller, magna cum laude. William Bolin Keo, cum laude. Zoe Elizabeth Lisa, cum laude. Grace Anine Leonard, magna cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Maidman, cum laude. John Michael Martin, summa cum laude. Yeah. 
Courtney Elizabeth Matucci, magna cum laude. Devin Brant McCarthy. Scott L. Myers, magna cum laude. Isabella Catherine Molinaro, magna cum laude. Zachary Russell North. Conrad Dean Pearson, cum laude. Mary Elizabeth Person. Janae Raquel Popelis. Emily Page Rahm. Joseph Thomas Radzinski. Ian Alexander Tracy, cum laude. Taylor Virginia May Tritipo. Stephanie Lynn Weinskovich, summa cum laude. <laughs> Olivia Marie Zuliski. <laughs> the following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. Nicholas James Driscoll, summa cum laude. and Marie C. Misterkowitz. Joel Gerard Taylor. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Matthew Joseph Beck, cum laude. Sebastian George Mahalko. Joseph Logan Moyer, magna cum laude. Katriana Wynn Nelson, summa cum laude. Jeremiah M. Stickles, magna cum laude. Lynn Marie Vaughn, summa cum laude. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity. Grant Stephen Bartlow, cum laude. Francis Matthew Bame, cum laude. Danielle Andrea Zemba, cum laude. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Engineering. Reese Jaden Capo. Bruce Matthew Johnson, magna cum laude. Danielle Nicole Kohler.
Amanda Rose Mickle. Eric Michael Pinella. Nicholas Taylor Petruzinski. Brandon James William Reno, magna cum laude. Nathaniel Joseph Rizza, cum laude. Hannah Pearl Rudy, magna cum laude. Jonas Maximilian Woodkovich. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Engineering Science. Michael Lynn Moracy. Kyle David Pope. Lauren Marie Serafin. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science. Jacob Scott Bender. Richard Tanner DeTesta. Rachel Alin Dudek. <laughs> Natalie Marie La Magna, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Andrew William Scott, Magna Cum Laude. Wyatt Russell Stouffer. Sydney Jean Weaver. The following student is receiving the Bachelor of Science in Health Science, Shane Patrick Howe. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, Colton J. Belmont. <laughs> Michael S. Park. Gage Michael Smith. Ethan Raymond Wendler. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Integrated Science. Brianna Janae Carter. Jeffrey Michael Sella, cum laude. Catherine Patricia Ann Kramer. Marion Elizabeth Dorora, cum laude. Micah Germaine Harris. Tyla Janae Jackson.
Charlie Taylor Kilgus, summa cum laude. Courtney Danielle Meslenka. <laughs> Timothy Gerard Morris. <laughs> Taylor Nicole Myers, cum laude. <laughs> Emily Winifred Benegar Principe, magna cum laude. Mackenzie May Yersini, magna cum laude. <laughs> Kyle Xavier Watson. <laughs> the following students are receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Mathematics. Alan Jordan Lazar, cum laude. Olivia Rose Lewis. <laughs> Lindsay Arlene Southworth. <laughs> the following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. Taylor Page Berardi. Stephanie Ann Cribs. John Theodore Yester, cum laude. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Physics. Louis Andrew Borelli. Lucas Richard Kearns. Connor Reed Throp. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the graduates of the Herbert W. Boyer School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Computing. Dr. Margaret Watkins, Dean of the School of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, will now preside over the conferral of degrees. Father Philip Canfus of the Order of St. Benedict, Professor of Education, will hood the graduates receiving master's degrees. Receiving the Master of Science in Counselor Education, Dave Byers. <laughs> Jennifer Marie Hogan. Barbara B. Jean. Alexis Marie Luthold. Samantha Rose Zarelius. Receiving the Master of Science in Curriculum and Instruction, Alexis Ann Amato. Linda Livingston Eicher. <laughs> T 
Taylor Lauren Hiles. Gina Christine Johnston. Courtney Alexa Close. Caitlin Maria Muchnock. Lucille Weber Olson. Kayla Elizabeth Shear. Madeline Rose Spittler. Receiving the Master of Science in Special Education, Alexandra Paulette Astel. <laughs> Laurel Ann Prengeman. Carolyn Elizabeth Welka. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology, Eileen Elizabeth Lynch, magna cum laude. Nicole Sherry Reyes, magna cum laude. Patrick Francis Spolin. Mora J. Sullivan, summa cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Art Education, Madison Joy Starlipper, summa cum laude. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Communication, Noah James Aftanas, cum laude. Mario Joseph Allegrini, Dion Avery. <laughs> Zachary Andrew Baum. <laughs> Joseph Edward Korn, Jr. Philip Harding. Cletus Paul Helton. George Alfonso Hillen. Courtney Aaron Moffitt. <laughs> Megan Nicole Mannion, cum laude.
Elizabeth Ann McCormick, summa cum laude. Lauren Rose McSwegan. Alexis Brianna Ori Cum Laude. Sydney Catherine Periton Cum Laude. Isaac David Pashika. Garrett Gregory Piper. Leeton J. Creer Kwao. Sorry, Leighton. <laughs> Deshaun Eugene Redfield. Anthony Restrepo. <laughs> Michael Edward Scollard. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Digital Art and Media. Shay Elizabeth Beeman, summa cum laude. Marcus L. Heredia. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Early Childhood Education, Cynthia Ann DeMaio, magna cum laude. Emily Ann Jalandro, cum laude. Corey Ann Holland, cum laude. Maggie Klingensmith, cum laude. David A. Marshall, Jr. Cassandra Rose Murko. Amanda Lynn Milant, cum laude. Bree Ann Perdonovich. <laughs> Judith Ann Purdy, Purdy, magna cum laude. <laughs> Rebecca Jill Reist, summa cum laude. Caroline Anna Rooney, cum laude. <laughs> Jennifer Lynn Singer, cum laude. <laughs> Erica Lynn Smiley, cum laude. Allison Nicole Straub, summa cum laude. <laughs> Rebecca Elizabeth Tassoni. <laughs> Ma 
Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in English, Nicole Fradick, summa cum laude. Mary Catherine Heberling, magna cum laude. Lindsay Catherine Laverty. <laughs> Kayla Lobos Hernandez. <laughs> Mallory Lauren Moffitt. Alyssa Marie Mountain, summa cum laude. Amanda Justine Moyer. Julia Claire Snyder, summa cum laude. Daniel Mark Worlow, magna cum laude. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Graphic Design, Hannah Lee Devine, cum laude. <laughs> Ariel Ann Krutzweiser. Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in History, Levi D. Baum, magna cum laude. Thomas Stephen Greaves, cum laude. Cameron James Heltebron, Christopher Robin Compst. Logan Scott Siebold, magna cum laude. Desmond Alexander Stone. Gertrude Rose Tesser, magna cum laude. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Vodovich, summa cum laude. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts, Jeron James Green. Daniel James Guzik. Maria Rose Hood. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Middle Grade Education, Lauren K. Miller. Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Theology, Zinren Zhang, cum laude. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Tariq Dijon Anderson. <laughs> Riley Ann Asalone, cum laude. Laurel Jean Burke.
Millicent Margaret Caffrey. Juliana Camille Donaldson. Gabriella Marie Fury. Balin May Graham. Alana Maria Hernandez. Madeline Sue Huey. Jonna Renee Karras. Brendan Thomas Kowalski. Samantha Lynn Krasewski, magna cum laude. Jenna K. Lofko. And Nicole Marie Olson. Mary Pop, magna cum laude. Nathaniel David Roebuck. Sophia Nicolina Sichanyango, <laughs> summa cum laude. Jennifer Lee Silvas, cum laude. Lucian Lee Strauss. Chloe Sinclair Todd, cum laude. Teresa Carcedo Wagner, cum laude. Alexandria Jordan White. Chloe May Wolford. Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. Chidera Angel Ufango. <laughs> Samantha Yvonne Blevins, summa cum laude. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Spanish. Samantha D. Hauer. Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Studio Art, Angelo Robert Cellini. <laughs> Connie Grace DeFrancesco, magna cum laude. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Theology, Matthew Walter Evans. The Bearcat Best program is a transition to adulthood program serving students with developmental 
and intellectual disabilities. It provides training in academics, self-advocacy, and social, independent living, and vocational skills. It prepares students for competitive employment and participation in their communities. The BEST, in Bearcat BEST, stands for Building Excellence Through Skills Training. But it also signals the enormous effort and dedication of the program's staff, instructors, and most of all, its students. Today, we recognize these unique learners who are ready to make their own meaningful contributions to society. We acknowledge their accomplishments with a certificate of program completion. Kevin Balmert. Sean Christopher Beener. Alexandra Marie Bradich. Shane Matthew Davis. Aaron DeMeo. Trevor Hughes. Luke William Krumenacher. Joseph Mink. Joshua Peracciato. Matthew Rieger. Marco Oliver Santucci. Kaylin Marie Siegel. Jasmine Alexis Thompson. Paige Paige Elizabeth Thornburg. <laughs> Thomas Yannick. <laughs> Abigail Evelyn Yurga. Please join me in congratulating the twenty. 21 class of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences at St. Vincent College.
at this time, it's my pleasure to present to you the class of 2021. Please rise as we honor our graduates. Please be seated. It's my pleasure to introduce senior class president Kyle X. Watson for his remarks. I love you too. I should have brought an iPad. <laughs> there you go. First of all, I would like to say thank you. Thank you to my friends, Romans, and countrymen who are streaming virtually into this event. And to all the parents, guardians, siblings, and friends who are blessed enough to attend this commencement today. Throughout these challenging times, through the pandemic. And thank you for your continued love and support because many of us would not have been able to achieve the success without you. For those of you who managed to miss hearing me during my many admissions tours through the Cary Center or seeing my face displayed on the school's website for a bit of time, <laughs> my name is Kyle Xavier Watson and I'm extremely excited and blessed to give you, my friends, family, and now the new alumni class of 2021, our senior remarks as we were about to step forward into a new world, a whole new fantastical point of view, a new chapter in all of our lives. 1,370 days, seven hours, and about 45 minutes ago, we started our journeys here at St. Vincent College with our very first day of classes. We witnessed our first Steelers training camp, which I was never allowed to go to because my mother is a diehard Ravens fan. I'm very sorry. And thank you, Mom. <sighs> we caught our first glance at that cameraman who would continue to take unexpected and sometimes awkward pictures and putting them on the St. Vincent Flicker. <laughs> we learned very quickly that Vinny is, well, Vinny. <laughs> And unexpectedly, bingo had started to become an obsession for us all, and we were able to put on, yeah. <laughs> and we were able to put on a phenomenal production of Beauty and the Beast. We saw the opening of our very new cadaver lab, and by the end of our freshman year, realized that the Fred Rogers Center definitely had the best food on campus. So we had to make sure we always attended those events. <laughs> In our second year, we finally learned that we can now spot that cameraman, but somehow that did not stop the unexpectedly awkward pictures from being posted. <laughs> we were now fully prepared for the Pennsylvania winters, or at least everyone from Florida was now aware of the Pennsylvania winters. <laughs> uh, hopefully your North Face jacket served you well, Katie Kramer. <laughs> We saw our first and only Wimmerstock, and by the end, we had to wish Brother Norman a farewell and welcome in Father Paul, uh, who is now the 18th president of SVC. <laughs> Which brings us to the top of our third year, where we now know that that camera's man's name is Alex Byers. Yeah. <laughs> And he's the one who has been capturing all of the amazing memories that we've been making here at St. Vincent College. Then, faster than anyone thought was possible, our worlds changed in the spring of 2020. We were sent home for two weeks, and that turned into us not even knowing if we'd be able to have our senior year. However, thanks to the wonderful hard work and ideas of all the people in the Wellness Center, shout out to Ms. Kim. <laughs> 
and the Forward Together Committee, as well as those throughout the administration and faculty, we were able to return to campus and then remained one of the fortunate schools who were able to stay open for the fall semester of 2020. And thank you to my fellow students, both graduates of this year and underclassmen for adapting to the unusual and new regulations that we had to put in place so we all could be sitting here today. After carefully combing through countless commencement addresses, senior remarks, inspirational speeches, and considering all that we've been through and the memories that we've made over the past four years, I realized that we've been through so much in such little time, and yet it felt like just yesterday we were going from the first to fifth floors of Benny, texting people and banging on doors, <laughs> wondering who kept taking all of our exit signs. <laughs> <laughs> or complaining in Melvin Platts about how the walk back up to Benny has to get easier. And as we all know, it never did. <laughs> but there is one thought that I wanted us graduates, the class of 2021, to take away from our time here together. We may have never been able to actually catch our breaths at the top of the trail, and we may have accidentally broken the sprinkler system. Through all of this and all these years, we've accomplished all of our goals and we've made it here. We've made it here to our graduation. And I want you all to know that one of the best takeaways I can give you all to remember is to live life. Recently, I realized that past the countless hours of studying and stress and all the times we spent witnessing the changes from the sometimes confusing halls of Dupre to the newly renovated Latimer Family Library, we all have the opportunity to live joyous lives. We will continue on to grad school, start crunching numbers, begin to educate tomorrow's generations. We will progress in our class and continue to contribute to the world around us. We can pursue our own happiness. As Chris Gardner, the author of The Pursuit of Happiness wrote, the future was uncertain, absolutely. There were many hurdles, twists and turns, but as long as we kept moving forward, one foot in front of the other, the voices of fear, shame, the messages from those that wanted me to believe that I wasn't good enough were all stilled. I worked for the admissions office here on campus and an interesting question Caitlin Sheridan was asked from a parent was not why she came to St. Vincent, but why she stayed at St. Vincent. And when she told me this, there was an easy answer that came to my mind my professors, my friends, and now family that I've developed here who pushed me not only towards academic success, but also continue to inspire me to pursue happiness in my everyday life. This way, I can wake up in the morning and truly love what I do. This way, we can all make a difference no matter which path we choose in life, with our families or throughout our careers. I'd ask you all to consider this quote by actor Will Smith. You cannot make a person happy. You can make a person you can make a person smile. You can make a person feel good. You can make a person laugh. But whether or not a person is happy, deeply, totally, and utterly is out of your control. Every person is responsible for his or her happiness, and no one else can do that for you. And so now, class of 2021, I challenge you to live your lives in pursuit of your happiness. With our Bearcat family that we've acquired supporting us, let us all support let us all pursue our happiness and have a magical start to the rest of our lives. And never forget, forward, always forward. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle, for encapsulating the last four years and showing us why as faculty and staff of this college, you are our happiness. You are what brings us joy in moments like this. We look forward to hearing about your great accomplishments as you return to this home, your home at St. Vincent. Please stand and gentlemen, remove your caps for the singing of the St. Vincent College alma mater. We ask everyone to join in the singing. It's going to be led by graduate Nicholas T. Pietrzynski, again, who will lead us in the singing, but this time, please sing along. The lyrics can be found on the opening page of your program.
Saint Vincent, Saint Vincent, our mother and our guide, to honor and love thee shall ever be our pride. Thy guiding hand has shaped our course on life's unruly sea. Until the end, with grateful hearts, we shall be true to Thee. Thank you again, Nicholas. Please remain standing. I want to give another thank you to all of the people who made this day possible. Many, many hands went into this over the course of the last four years and over the last course of the last four hours. Thank you all. After the benediction, there will be a brief recessional in which the platform and the faculty will leave the field. Students and spectators, please stay at your seats. Kyle Watson and Caleb Wilson will ring the Ave Maria bell in Melvin Plotz. That bell will resound throughout campus and it's, it will signal the final act of the 2021 commencement. Graduates may then join your families as you depart the grounds. Father Wolfston Clow of the Order of St. Benedict, Professor of English, will now offer our benediction. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you very much for the gift of this day. We thank you, first of all, for the wonderful weather, which adds to our joy. We thank you also for this day of congratulations, this day of joy, this day of triumph, this day of tremendous accomplishment for our graduates. We ask you to stay with them as they go forth from us, to make their mark in the world, the real world, and to, saw, and to make their contribution in their chosen professions. We ask you to keep in, their, keep in their hearts the lessons they have learned here, not only the lessons in the classroom, but the lessons out of the classroom, the lessons of love, of community, of tolerance, of effort to make the world a better place. We thank you also for the message of strength and hope that our commencement speaker gave us and for the words of the senior class president which bring back such memories. And we also thank you, Lord, for the contributions that they made to St. Vincent, the many works that they did, the insight, the experience they brought with them. And we ask you as they go forth to remain at their sides during the good times during the not so good times especially. And we thank you for the strength you have, shown, you have given them to overcome especially the trials of the past year. And as we, prepare to, as we prepare to scatter, let us make our last activity as a class, the recitation of the prayer your son Jesus gave us as the model for all prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.